Hey crafty friends, I'm trying to get a quick scope in before uh, I have to make dinner because first of all I've been infected with craft herpes. I have got sparkle dust and glitter everywhere and I want to just do a little quick periscope about the difference between sparkle dust and pure sheen. So I thought we'd like have some fun and take a look. So you know I've been playing through all of these different Nouveau products and um, so today we're having the glitter portion. I'm also going to be using the glitter pens that they sent me. Um, there are three different sizes. There's a really wide one. There's a ballpoint pen and a middle chisel tip. And of course the middle chisel tip didn't seem to make it in my box. So I'm going to wait to do a full review on those until afterwards. By the way, yes, Celeste, I saw your comment about my glittering personality. And now it's just like, can you see? Like I am just covered in glitter. So anyway, um, first of all, let's just look at the most basic uh, difference between the two, which is packaging size. Um, so the Pure Sheen comes in the big Mama Jamma package, for those of us who think more is more. Uh, and it just says, adds instant sparkle to every project used with Nouveau pens. Of course, you can use it with anything. Um, how much is in here? A whole bunch. 3.3 fluid ounces, 100 milliliters. Huge, huge, huge. So. Interesting though, you've got a huge package with their little, you know, they always do their little thing on the top and you get a little wee spout. So this doesn't make sense to me, I have to be honest, this is like my least favorite packaging thing ever. When you give me a nice big thing of glitter, but then in order to pour it back in, I have to get it in that little teeny spout, that's kind of annoying to me. So um, there is a lot of product in here though, so I guess maybe they're encouraging you to just throw it out. So when you use the Nouveau Sparkly Dust, bing, you get this little tiny package. This is kind of what we're used to. This says adds lustrous sparkle. Lustrous. And this is a much weirder container. This is 0.5 fluid ounces, but what you get is you don't get all the little fancy top, but what you do you get is A, the ability to see right in and what color you've got, because again, if you're storing this in a drawer, You'll get to see what color you have down below, like from there. But this is, for me, easier to see. This I actually like better packaging, a lot less of it. But it has a nice wide mouth so that when you are using your little tidy trays or you've got your manila folder and you're tapping it back in, this gives you a wider target. It's not really stackable. See, in the perfect world, what they would do is actually um, make these so that they interlocked and they could actually be stacked on top. These are rounded, so they really don't. But you know, you could also kind of store them like this in a drawer so that you could see them. Packaging is important. Um, you know, we love cute. Cute is fantastic. But we also have to have practical and functional. Okay, so I just wanted to give you an idea of the color swatching that I did on both black and white paper. Um, and the reason why I'm showing you this in natural light is so that you can see the colors, how they really appear, and a, you get a good kind of overview of the sheen here. And these are the pure sheen colors. So I just want to point out um, that all of them are really true. There are some special colors here that I wanted to point out. And um, I wanted to show you the ones that have kind of an iridescent color to them. Okay, so colors like the Pink Diva actually have kind of an iridescent glow to them. So I've marked that the iridescent glows, uh, the Pink Diva has it, the Aqua Color has it, the Purple Organza has it. Here you can see it's kind of a green flash. The Candy, nope, not the Candy Pink. Yeah, the Candy Pink has it. The Glitter Diamond has that kind of a greenish cast to it. Um, all of those are their iridescent colors. Now I've changed my lighting a little bit because there are some other ones I've marked because they really have kind of a multicolored glitter in them. So now if you look closely, you can see that the Glitter Gold has really a lot of different colors in it. 
the turquoise has a couple of different colors in it. This sapphire blue has different colors of blue in it. The hot pink has multiple colors. The deep pink, the mirror ball, you can see clearly has like all of the rainbow flashes. The charcoal actually has um, some green flashes in it and the chocolate brown has some red flashes. So I wanted to point that out because a lot of the other ones are just straight up colors, but you do have some of these special ones that have the extra colors and I will have these listed on the website for you. When I show you those same colors on the black, you can really tell here, it's hard to even see the pink of the Pink Diva in real life because what you're seeing is that green color. And that also holds true for the aqua. You see the green color. For the purple organza, you see a lot of the green color. The candy pink, uh, the glitter diamond. All of those are a little bit less accessible on the black because what you see is mostly the iridescent colors. But as you can see, they're all absolutely gorgeous on the dark color and they show up beautifully. And again, once we take a look at them on the black paper, um, it even becomes a little more apparent that the glitter gold has the multicolor flakes in it. The turquoise has two different colors. The deep pink and the hot pink have extra colors in them. Sapphire blue. Here you can really see that the charcoal has that kind of multicolor to it and the hot chocolate. Okay, I also want to show you how this product works. This is the Pure Sheen. This is the theoretically chunkier glitter that isn't very chunky. Um, how it works on something like a Zig 2-Way pen. So this goes on blue, dries clear, and sticky. So of course I wrote on, you are amazing, and now I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of this product over the top and rub it in so that it sticks. So we can see how it performs with handwriting. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. The particles are a little bit bigger, so this might not be quite as well suited if you want to do fine detail work or uh, handwriting, but not too bad. It certainly is very, very sparkly. As I mentioned in the introduction, this is a nice big bottle, but it has kind of a narrow top. And while I think the gemstone on top is cute, if you're storing this in a drawer, you can't really see the colors that well. So what I did is I just put a little strip of double sticky tape and then dusted some of the color on top. So now it's really easy for me to see what the color is from above. As with the Pure Sheen, I also added a little strip of double sticky tape onto the top and dusted some of the color so that I could see very clearly um, both the color, but also whether or not it was iridescent or sparkly right on the lid there. Okay, so I thought we should just take a little look at the swatches. Um, I'm here under the Ot Lights, so you can really get a good color sampling. I think this is really true to life. So you have a gold, you have a silver that also has a holographic to it. This is a straight up teal. You have a white that is kind of a crystally with multicolor, a straight up blue. You've got a green that has a little fleck of both lime and like a copper to it. You have a straight up pink, a straight up purple, a, a black diamond that has a little teeny bit of iridescence, not a whole lot. This is the most yummy copper color that has flashes of red and gold. You've got a straight up red, and then you've got this hot pink. So I really wanna just tell you the most amazing things about these, um, I used to double sticky tape to put them on, and they are sticking on really well. And the reason why is because this is such a fine glitter. It is called an ultra fine, I believe it. When you feel it on the page, honestly, if you closed your eyes, you would think that this was suede. It is that soft and that fine that when you run your fingers over it, it almost feels like flocking. So I really, really love that about these glitters, that not only are they 
super fine, which means they are gonna stick on really well, but it has this tactile uh, sense to it because it is so super fine. It is smooth and soft. It's just really, really a pleasure to touch. And my mom always said, show it how it looks on black too, Jenny. So I'm following mom's advice. And I wanna show you these the exact same color swatches, but just on the black paper. So as you can see, they have a pretty good color. Um, they're true, you know, you can definitely see that the silver is a silver, although you might see a few more of those iridescent flakes. Uh, the teal looks good. The only one that doesn't really hold up is the white crystal. It really pulls that green on black. So it just doesn't show quite as well, but all the other ones do. I also want to show you, I use some um, tacky drying glue. This is the Zig two-way pen, and it's my absolute favorite two-way pen. As a matter of fact, I have a video on that. Check the description. And I wrote, you are amazing. And I just wanted to show you uh, how it looks when you go ahead and apply it. This is all the leftovers from all of my other swatching. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that on top. Kind of turns out to be a lavender color it looks like. And I'm gonna rub it in. Again, this goes on blue. It dries clear and, and also sticky. So I just wanna show you that I really feel like this is the really suitable for writing because you get all of those details in the lettering. By the way, you wanna keep a nice big fluffy dry brush handy to, to sweep away the extras. But you can definitely see that the sparkle dust is great for anything you want to write because it's so fine and so small, you get a lot of details. <clears throat> all right, so let's look at just one more little kind of sample. So I stamped two images. I'm gonna show you what they look like in black before I show you on the page. So I stamped these two images on some tags and I used an embossing powder and a sticky embossing um, powder on top of it. So uh, this is actually the Ranger sticky embossing powder. And I just wanna show you the difference in the two images. This is the Nouveau Pure Sheen, so it's a little bit thicker and you get some beautiful presence on the bold image. However, on the fine image, you just lose some detail. Now, by comparison, the Pure Sheen, which is the ultra fine, you get a nice presence on both the bold image, but also on that fine image. So if you like to do sticky embossing powder and you want to preserve those details, I really would recommend using the sparkle dust. This only has 12 colors, but you're gonna get really, really nice results. You can see right there in the art saves what the difference is between the two. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single video. And as always, have a crafty day. 